Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create some glow effect using Canva. You can make amazing things with Canva and I just discovered this specific feature a few weeks ago and I've been using it for my thumbnails and I have gotten a ton of questions how you can make thumbnails like that because it makes like an outline around you but you can kind of play with it. So if you're interested in this, please stay until the end of the video so I can teach you how you can do it as well. going to use mainly Canva like I told you before and we are going to log in to our Canva account and we are going to create in this case a thumbnail but you can use whatever design you want. I'm gonna share my computer just now and I'm gonna be using this specific thumbnail that I have created before and you can choose any design you want that you had that you want to practice with. In this case I had created this exactly thumbnail with another tool that it's called Procreate and I used layers there. So I learned before about the layers feature or the layers trick, right? Some of you already might know about it. What I'm gonna do here is to use one of my upload picture, this one. The photo that I use for this one is this and I'm gonna set this image as a background. As you can see, I have some other effects here and I have this background feature. If you want to make the glow effect with this one, you cannot do it like it is right now. So what I'm going to do is to copy this again and make the effect and remove the background. If you don't have Canva Pro, then you can maybe use a different software, but you need to remove the background of your picture so you can actually make this effective. And if you don't know how to do it with Canva, I'm gonna link this video right here so you can check it out and see how easy it is to make it with Canva. I just removed my background here and this is the other one. Now I have this one. I want to create the glow effect on this one, the one that doesn't have a background. So I'm going to detach the image from the background and I'm gonna make it bigger. Now that you have it like this, you will just stretch it using these corners. What I'm gonna do is to put these over my background picture, okay? So now I'm gonna try to make it as big as it was. And now that it is here, there it is. So you can't tell that it's a layer here, okay? That's the goal. And now what do you want to do? So as you can see, you have this picture right here and you have shadows. Where you click on effects, if you just click on different feature, it won't appear. So you have to click on effects and then just go and see here that you have the glow effect here. So you will click on it and let's see what happens. It depends on the color that you want to give to your glow effect. In this case, I'm just gonna use what I've been using lately and that's a white glow. Okay, so the picture does move like this a lot. I don't know why, but you will have to resize the picture so it fits the background. So don't worry about that. I will be doing it later. I'm gonna just click on these buttons right here so I can fix the glow effect. As you can see right now, it's set by default on black. So I'm gonna change it to be white. And now you can see this glow white effect. Now it's time that you make it your own. Do you want to play around with these features right here? You can see how it looks if I just change the transparency. And the more blur you add, it looks a little bit better for me. And then you just add a little bit more here. And it depends how big do you want it. I just want it to be like kind of like that. Let me just change the size right here so I can see actually how it looks over my original background. There it is. You just try to make it so you can tell that it's a layer. Sometimes this happens. 
it just get messed up with the sizes so just be patient there just keep in mind what numbers you want to use here until it is like you really want it to be the less blurriness you use it looks a little bit more fake i don't know about you when i think about glowing effect i just think a little bit more like natural not like an outline per se so i'm gonna be just trying to be like that using more blur and then you can just add a little bit more transparency the size that you really want and if you do change the background it will be easier for you so in this case i'm just gonna click on apply hopefully it doesn't change the size okay i just apply the changes and let's say you want to change the background so it comes up a little bit brighter let's change it. what color do you like maybe orange it looks much better when you have a brighter background and you can even use a different color just make sure what you use pops up every time that you edit it it will change so i guess this is like an issue from canva i don't know but it will come back to what you had before so just be careful with that just try to remember the settings here and then to just fix it so it looks more natural right there that's the way you make the glow effect you have to click on apply changes so it actually makes the changes for you just be careful every time that you do it because you know it's gonna mess up with the settings that you used before just click on back here and try to fix it again this is the way that you can do it with canva and it looks really really good just use layers and by layers i just mean that this one is over the background so you have two different layers right there and then you just want to add your other features right there so you can just uh, change the background color to a brighter or like let's say black and it will pop up much better i hope you like this tutorial video and if you do apply this new knowledge about this feature just please let me know in the comments below in which design you're gonna use it and for what project you're gonna use it so more people can see in what to apply this glow effect from Canva. I hope this video was useful for you and if you do, please don't forget to click on the like button and on the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.